this is Abby and this video is going to be a vlog type video. So in this video I want to talk about where I got my rabbits because that's a very common question. Give a few updates and just kind of do a vlog because I want to. But first, if you know which YouTuber made this shirt, leave it in the comments and the first person will get their comment pinned. Misty is driving me nuts over here. She keeps digging and chewing all the rugs. Stop it. You guys think they're perfect? Well, <laughs> they're not. They dig up fleeces, they chew rugs, they flip over water bowls. So if we go in this corner, for those who are familiar with my room or my videos would know that the hamster cages were right here. My sister's hamster is still on the floor over there. It's, it's, it's messy. But I took apart Echo's cage because I do not plan to get another hamster. I gave the plexiglass and the plywood to my dad and I converted a piece of the melamine into this little table. And I think it looks kind of nice here. I need a plug cover for that. Don't pay attention to that. And I just put my chair here and there's one of the couch pillows somehow got in here too. But that leaves this big white wall and I was thinking of putting like painter's tape all geometric like and then painting some of the shapes um, teal and gray. Not like the whole wall, just kind of over here because that would look kind of cool. Right now, when you just look at it, you just have this big white wall and it's just kind of plain. Willow's up there like usual. And before someone asks, I just have to go over this real quick. I need to organize my desk yet, but Willow jumps on my chair. She jumps on my desk. Then she jumps up there. There's probably like little claw marks on here. That is how she gets up. And now I'm going to talk about where I got my rabbits. So Storm here who who <laughs> so Storm here who is grooming himself, he is pretty close to four years old now. I got him on October 12th of 2013. Where I got him, basically I was looking for a rabbit. It was really hard to find a rabbit. And my dad and my siblings went to help this woman who we knew to help rake leaves and yard work and stuff. And when they came back home, they said she had rabbits and that I could have one. And she raised, or still raises, I don't know, cause we moved, but she raised rabbits for me. So my mom was kinda like, oh, are you sure you wanna meet rabbit type thing? And, but I didn't care, so we drove over to her house and she had quite a few bunnies. But she basically gave me two to pick from, Storm, and then there was a uh, little lion head. And I feel really bad for the little fluffy bunny that probably got eaten, but I did pick Storm and I brought him home. But yeah, that's where I got Storm. Good thing he didn't become bunny stew. He's living and alive. And then there's skittish Misty over there. I've said this before, but I adopted Misty on August 29th of 2014. Her age is kind of unknown. I'm guessing it's somewhere in between five, six, maybe. I, I really don't know for sure though. She was in a shelter in central Vermont. We were going on a little vacation trip down more southern Vermont and I saw her listing about a week before that trip so I contacted them asking if you were able to adopt a rabbit on the same day so we could just like pick her up on the way home and they said that's fine as long as she's still there in that time so the whole time before the trip and on the trip I was just like oh I hope she's still there I hope she's still there they said they could hold her for me a day before I would get there so I was <laughs> I was pretty anxious and just kind of really hoping that nobody else would adopt her and nobody else did so on the way back we just picked her up okay here is her original pet finder um listing so yeah anyway we just brought her home it was about oh it took us a while to get home because we stopped like two different times and went food shopping and so she was probably in the car for two and a half three hours but she made it back okay so this was the info given on her there was no age they named her Winnie I didn't want to name her Winnie. Really, it just says I was found outside in a cage and was brought to the shelter on July 16th. Before coming to the shelter, I have no idea and they had no idea where she was or anything like that. Which is kind of interesting and explains why she's probably skittish. They gave us like a little receipt. She was $25. They got her spayed on July 24th, not very long after they brought her in. And that is all the info I have on Misty. People ask whether 
adopted bunnies are gonna be more skittish or less friendly if they're adopted, which in Misty's case, yes, her past is unknown. I have no clue how she was treated. She could have been in a tiny little cage for the first few years of her life with hardly any human interaction. She probably had some, I don't know. She could have been indoor in a, you know, a pet cage. I doubt she was taken good care of because she was abandoned and her coat wasn't in the greatest condition. With her kind of anxiety-ish personality, her and Storm fit really well together. I think it, it, it comforts her to have Storm as a bond mate because she's just skittish like that. But yeah, that's all the info I have on those two of how I got them. Storm was free, except I did take him to get neutered and he was nine months? 11 months. I think it was about 11 months old, which was $125. For a few updates, my birthday is in, what, uh, nine days? Yeah, June 16th. I'll probably vlog a little bit for that. I'll probably upload it on my second channel. Second update is I'm going to camp. I'm a counselor at a Christian summer camp and I will be gone for six weeks. I'll be home on um, Friday night to Sunday mid-afternoon, but besides that, I will be gone for six weeks. So I won't really have any time for videos most likely, so I may end up not really uploading for six weeks, which is most likely gonna hurt my channel a little bit, but going to camp is what I wanna do and I'm gonna do it. And I'm not leaving this channel at all. I would definitely be posting when camp is over, but to try to keep up with videos and do that is a lot. That doesn't start till June 30th though, so I'll try to keep up with videos till then. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and if you're still listening, thank you. Just thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.